Hey everyone, and welcome to a brand new Tell Like It Is Thursday. This is the show where people ask me questions, and I give them my answers, I give them my opinions, and hopefully we all figure something fun out. Remember guys that I'm not a professional, I'm just a guy with an opinion, so you can believe me, you cannot believe me, but face it, I'm always right. Alright guys, so today we are going to stick to just one topic, and it is something that my husband suggested to me, and I thought it was a really good idea, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. So let's get this started. Okay guys, so just for a little bit of background, my husband is a super huge comic book nerd. Me, not so much. I have learned a lot through osmosis through the years, but I am not all super into it like he is. We did, however, own a comic book store together, so I have learned a lot through the process. Um, but he wanted to ask me this question and have kind of an outsider point of view. And I would still definitely consider me an outsider because I don't really read comic books and I don't go to the comic book stores and look for stuff. Um, anything I know is just, I picked it up from him, from him talking. So this is his question. He wants to know, what do I think from an outsider perspective about major comic book studios, namely DC and Marvel, rebooting their universes? All right, in case you don't know what that means, um, comic book studios have been around for a very long time and our favorite superheroes and supervillains were developed ages ago, probably way before we were born, many of us, even me, and I'm old. So what they just did, and DC did it a couple years ago, and Marvel just announced they're going to do it, is reboot their universe, meaning they're going to start all their superheroes, all their supervillains, they're going to start them all from scratch, um, restart their origin stories, um, and restart all their stories. So I think there's two things that we need to talk about here, um, reasons why they would do it. Reason number one, there is just way too much history with certain comic book characters and certain books. And I don't mean that in a bad way. Like, it's amazing. There's like all this incredible rich history and that's really, really cool. But if you're a new person, a noob, and you want to get started in it, it is just like way beyond intimidating. You want to start reading a book and it starts at like issue 700 and there's all these things that you don't know about and you're kind of expected to know while you're reading these books. And it's just, you look at it and you're like, I can't start at issue 700. It's just... It's too much, so I'm not even gonna bother. So by restarting their universes, starting all back at like issue zero and all their origin stories, it gives noobs a chance to jump on the bandwagon and be like, woohoo, I can go ahead and start now because I'm gonna start from the beginning. And it just makes it easier for new people. And that's good for them because they wanna get new readers in, younger readers, um, maybe even readers my age that haven't got started, but maybe will you know, start now because things have restarted themselves. It is a good idea, uh, sales-wise, tactic-wise. Um, it probably pisses a lot of people off that, you know, know all the stories, and now they're going to be like, "Ah, oh, it's all different, ah," because you know, let's face it, the people like that they get mad about everything, and nothing they do is going to make them happy. So, why not reboot the universe, right? Second reason: some of these superheroes and supervillains and characters. Um, have origin stories that are way out of date and are no longer really plausible. And I'll give you one particular concrete example, and that is Magneto from the X-Men. So his origin story starts all the way back in World War II from a concentration camp in Nazi Germany. And it's an amazing origin story, right? It, it's perfect for his character because you understand his feelings about an oppressive government or just mankind in general not wanting to accept someone that's different, i.e. a mutant, and wanting to, you know, make them have to register as a mutant or make them segregated and not living with the normal humans. And so you fully understand his character, his struggle, and the reason why he's so pissed off. It's a great origin story, but at this point, is it really believable? For him, in order to have been in Auschwitz or any concentration camp, he'd have to be like 95 now. And Odds are, you know, it wasn't some, you know, fight or some, you know, person that was his enemy that killed him. It's like old age that probably killed him. And the thing about these characters is they have superpowers and whatnot, but they're not immortal. They're still people. So can you really believe a 95-year-old Magneto is running around, punching people, taking punches, you know, and doing all that stuff? Not super believable. So. It does make sense that you would want to update people's origin stories just to make them more relatable and make more sense for, you know, modern times. Now, 
My husband, who again is like uber comic book person, may want to smack me in the face for everything I've said in this video. In fact, there might be a lot of comic book people that might want to smack me in the face for the things that I've said. But like I said, the whole point of this was to get a perspective from outside of the comic book universe. Someone, you know, looking in and seeing reboots and what they think about it and what they think might be a good idea about it or not a good idea about it. So. That is my opinion, and I, I'm curious to know what you guys think. Are you comic book fans? Are you not comic book fans? Are you just fair weather comic book fans that just go see the Avengers movie and whatnot and like it like that? I'm curious what you think. How do you feel about, you know, the universe is getting rebooted? And do you think it makes it more accessible to new people? Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think it's a bad idea? Um, write stuff in the comment section down below because I'm really curious to know what you guys think because I think this topic because um, there's probably a lot of nerds that watch me, I have a feeling. Um, they might have definite opinions on this. Alrighty guys, and always remember, if you want to ask me questions, ask me questions here in the comment section down below or on Google Plus using the hashtag T-I-L-I-I-T, -I -I tell like it is Thursday, and I will answer them in an upcoming video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like my videos in general, please hit the subscribe button and you will see a new video on your feed every single Thursday. Alrighty guys, until next time. Love and bubbles. Alrighty guys, so we have some pretty fun questions this week, so let's go ahead and get this started. Question number one comes from Bruno and Jesus, and they are, what's your interpretation of Saya's new video, Elastic Heart? So this has been a pretty controversial 